Alright, here he is. This is a solar heater. All that it is, I would run a big truck by just as I started talking. Uh, all it is is a wooden frame, and I put plywood on the back, cut a couple of holes in it. There's a hole down there, and a couple of holes up here. It is sealed up with silicone inside and outside. Uh, all this is on the front is a window out of a door. Uh, the door was actually just a little bit bigger than the window. It had a frame all the way around it. And there is inside, inside right in here, is a piece of tin. It's old metal off of an old roof and I painted it flat black and the sun shines through. You got to get it to where the sun is shining directly on it. The sun shines through the glass, reflects off of the, or well actually is absorbed into the metal and you get like a greenhouse effect inside because the whole box is sealed up except for the holes in the back which the holes in the back are made to run into your house. The bottom one, this, is a cool air in. And then these up here on top, which I don't know why I made two, I should have just cut a split all the way across, but this is the output. And right now, with no fan, there's no fan or nothing on these. It's just a hole there. There's empty space in between. I don't know if you can see inside there, but there is a board, a one by one, right there. And that holds this piece of metal off. There's the metal. Holds that piece of metal off of the plywood enough to allow air to flow behind it. There's a pretty good amount of space back in here. And there is hot air coming out of here. There's no fan on it. It's just using the convection of the air, you know, the fact that warm air rises as it rises, it comes out the hole and it sucks more air into the bottom. That air rises up and comes out here and it is warm. If you had a, a south facing wall on your house and you line that wall with these or make one big one, which is, they're very easy to make. If you were to just put it right straight on the wall and cut holes, those holes in the back, just cut them straight through the wall and put vents, you would have free heat. Anytime that the sun was shining, you would have free heat. Uh, right now, it's, it's cool out here. It's not terribly cool today, but it's, cooler out here than what would really be comfortable but the air coming out of the top is hot so as the air would be recirculating in your house it would get up to pretty good temperature I would say. The only problem is I was building this to use on the church trailer and as you can see the church trailer is now in the shade. Uh, the church itself just went into the shade. It could probably, a bunch of these could be built and put up on the top of the church. That would work fine. Uh, I don't really need it for the, for my house, you know, off-road, off-grid project, uh, because I have free gas up there anyway, so I can heat the gas. Um, this would be a whole lot easier way to heat. I mean, I may put some of these on my south facing wall. I do have a south facing wall that gets sun most of the day. So I'm, I may run a roll of these across there just to have heat during the day right there. Uh, I thought this might be an interesting thing for y'all to see. So uh, good heater. I mean, I'm impressed. I just kind of slapped it together. If I would have done a little better job it might have 
had really great heat. Uh, one way you could do is you could have it uh, like seal up one side or you could use rain gutter or something like that and you can run it back and forth up and down through the whole unit as it's running through it would heat up more and more and more the more times that it turns and goes back the other direction I mean you could even build petitions in between it for it to, for the air to come up and go back down and seal up each one so that the only path that it has it has to go through all of them you could also which I may do this uh, you could also use this to heat your water. Uh, you could run water pipe through here and it would heat up just the same as the air does. And you could heat the water for your shower. Uh, solar power is very interesting. The sun has got a lot of power. There's a lot of energy that comes from the sun that's free, just free for the use. Well, that's that's my video for today. Um, I hope to have some more projects for you. Um, the weather is getting a little bit better. It's just been kind of bad weather lately. Um, but I'm going to do more projects up at the house. This is this is more like for the church and stuff. I like to try to see what kind of stuff I can do for the church. But uh, thank you for watching and and next time I come up with something I'll put it up.